Hi, I'm William, and I'm the artist. Hi, I'm Sarah, and I'm the mathematician. Hi, I'm Celeste, I'm the goofball and the cheerleader. Hi, I'm Najoni, and I'm the brain. Hi, I'm Mr. McCarl, and I am the warden. Uh, I mean coach. Hey, get back to work. Aww. Najoni and Sarah, tell these good people how this craziness started. Well, growing up on the reservation, we always have to cook our fry bread with propane. But propane is expensive, Najoni. I know, Sarah. And even worse, it's a fossil fuel, so it adds CO2 to our atmosphere. And it's non-renewable, so once it's gone, it's gone. It, it has got, got to stop. William and Celeste, tell, tell them our cool idea. Well, everybody knows the sun is going to be here for a long time to come. Yeah, and if you use a magnifying glass, you can get things really hot. Hot enough to melt stuff or even start a fire. So we thought if you got a big enough magnifying glass, maybe you can use it instead of propane to cook fry bread. So we designed a solar fry bread cooker using a Fresnel lens, a big flat magnifying glass made of plastic. It would be cheap to build, easy to use, and, and dang, dang cool, cool to, to boot. boot. We thought we had a pretty good idea. Good enough that I convinced them to submit it to the Spirit of Innovation Awards. Turns out we weren't the only ones who thought it was a good idea. The, the judges, judges did, did too. too. We were selected as finalist team in renewable energy. And so we made this nifty video to tell you all about it. Enjoy! Enjoy. The first step was to find out what it takes to cook fry bread, how much heat, how much oil we needed to experiment. Okay, are you guys cooking fry bread or donuts? It looks like a donut. Tell us why you're cooking fry bread. Because I was supposed to. It tastes good. <laughs> it what? <laughs> it tastes good. Okay, why are you cooking fry bread in my kitchen tonight? Let's go to that. Our solar cooker. What about your solar cooker? We want to find out the minimum temperature, time, time, and depth of oil. Why? Because you don't want to use a whole bunch of oil because the sun can only heat the oil so much, so you want to use as little as much so that it can get heated faster. I see. Okay. That's very nice. How's your fry bread taste? I don't know. It's, it's not done yet. Not done. They didn't like it in the deep fryer because it tasted like chicken. Armed with temperature data, we decided to build a prototype. Well, it looked cool, but we needed to see if it could get hot. Next was my favorite step, making and eating solar fry bread. We decided to use our pan that had some oil in it, and it was pretty impressive to see the oil heat up because that worked a lot better than the pan just heating by itself. So the shortening helped circulate the heat better, and it got pretty hot, but not super. And we tried to throw on a bit of dough in it. It's not really cooking. I mean, it is, but it's not very fast. All right, try to set it not directly in the sunlight so we don't block our heat source. Wow. It's definitely cooking this time, where last time it took a while to start bubbling. You can see that it's cooking. Okay, we're gonna watch Najoni try and flip it again because it's hilarious. Najoni, turn it over. If I can. Okay, let's not get oil on my camera. 
Why not? You said it was waterproof. This isn't waterproof. Let's make the it one waterproof. That's, coming. <laughs> that's an old it's... Indian trick. You pick it up and drop it. You got it. It was over. Oh. <laughs> it's browning this time, guys. Brown is a good color for bread, right? So much better than pasty white like last time. All right, so here's our final test. It is browned on both sides. Oh, jeez. It smells like fry bread. It smells like fry bread. Hey! And I'll taste next. Yummy. Hey! Look, Look out, out, world! Here, here comes, comes Native Sun. Right after we make some more fry bread. <laughs>